All right, so about a week ago, I made a video that was about Kamala Harris being tasked with the goal of solving the immigration crisis here in the United States. And basically, I'll link that video down below, but essentially all her plan is, is US corporate imperialism, the same imperialism that has destabilized these regions over uh, decades and decades in Latin America and Central and South America. Um, and basically her strategy is, I'm going to have US corporations like Microsoft and MasterCard was another one, um, go in there and invest in these communities and uh, give them economic opportunities. And what this really just means is uh, corporate imperialism. This is the same exact type of imperialism that has uh, destroyed these countries, that has uh, had them exploited, had their people killed, had their governments overthrown uh, over decades and decades of U.S. imperialism. That's exactly what this is, and basically under the guise of economic opportunity, uh, they're doing exploitation, they're doing typical U.S. imperialism. And so um, in the wake of that, basically, Kamala Harris has actually traveled to Guatemala and is going around these different countries. I think she's going to Mexico soon, um, and basically just reiterating her point. And and that point is that she is an imperialist. Her strategy for solving the immigration crises is nothing other than just scolding these people and um, uh, reiterating some of the worst mistakes that we've made throughout our history that have caused the immigration crisis in the first place. So here's what she had to say while she was in Guatemala, uh, basically just talking about how people shouldn't come to the U.S. border. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. There are legal methods by which migration can and should occur. But we, as one of our priorities, will discourage illegal migration. And I believe if you come to our border, you will be turned back. So let's discourage our friends, our neighbors, our family members from embarking on what is otherwise an extremely dangerous journey. I want to be clear. So, yeah, I mean, is that not just ridiculously insulting? I mean, she's going to Guatemala to basically tell them you guys are not welcome in our country. And what she's describing here, by the way, is an entirely legal process, right? She says, we don't want people showing up illegally at the border to try to come to the United States, use our legal avenues. Well, some of the legal avenues include showing up to the border and seeking asylum. Here's a, a perfect example, okay? So this is from Amnesty International. Laws for migrants, refugees, and asylum seekers. The rights for migrants, refugees, and asylum seekers are protected by international law, regardless of how and why they arrive in a country. They have the same rights as everybody else, plus special or specific protections, including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 14, which states that everyone has the right to seek asylum, seek and enjoy asylum from persecu persecution in other countries, the 1951 UN Refugee Convention, and its 1967 protocol which protects refugees from being returned to the countries uh, where they risk being persecuted and as also pointed out by AOC here uh, this is disappointing to see first seeking asylum at the US border is 100% legal method of arrival and second the US spent decades contributing to regime change and destabilization in Latin America we can't help set someone's house on fire and then blame them for fleeing so Kamala Harris has been tasked with the priority of solving the immigration crises and her solution is to repeat the exact same goddamn mistakes that created the immigration crises. So she clearly doesn't understand the political situation, or maybe she does understand and is just following in the footsteps of previous U.S. imperialist presidents, um, because this is exactly what our same agenda has been up until this point. Please explain to me how what Kamala Harris just said could even be distinguishable from what Trump would say in this exact same situation, or Mike Pence or whatever, uh, as they would be going and doing this exact same trip. It's indistinguishable. This is the exact same line that Republicans use on immigration, okay? It's this completely fabricated narrative that these people are coming up here, and, and this was a good way that I saw uh, portrayed about it, um, is that American politicians talk about immigrations, immigrants, as if refugees and asylum seekers are, are planned, uh, planned the wrong vacation. Right. So she talks about this casually as if, oh, well, don't come, don't come here. Right. We have legal immigrate. People are fleeing their countries because they fear for their lives, because they fear for them and their families' lives. And because their situation at home has become so desperate, again, in large part due to the history of U.S. imperialist involvement in these countries, that their lives have become so desperate that they have no other option other than to take that dangerous journey here to the United States. And her response to that is not to have empathy, is not to acknowledge the U.S. history and involvement and imperialist interests in these countries that have destabilized them, overthrown their governments, funded far-right death squads that massacre civilians. No, 
None of that. Resource exploitation, labor exploitation, none of that. Doesn't even acknowledge any of that, just as if we appeared in this static moment of time right now, and suddenly there's a bunch of people who are just trying to come and take a vacation here in the United States. That's not at all what the situation is. And so her complete refusal to acknowledge that basic history um, is, is just causing it to repeat itself, really. I mean, this is a perfect example of history repeating itself because we fail to acknowledge what we've done uh, that actually caused the problems that we have right now. Here is another tweet uh, that I liked on this. Uh, Enrique Acevedo uh, says the VP went all the way to Guatemala to send a message to the Republican base here in the U.S. This statement is hardly going to persuade migrants fleeing violence, bad governance, climate change, or the effects of the pandemic. This statement was not for them. And he's exactly right. Okay, this statement was not for actual people in Guatemala because people are not, they don't have the choice to flee. She portrays this as if it's like a preference. It's not a preference. People are being forced to do this. Okay. And so uh, he's completely right in saying this is for the Republican base because this is indistinguishable from something that Trump would say to throw red meat to his base and say, oh, aren't the immigrants bad? Aren't they criminals that are just trying to flood to the borders uh, to take advantage of the United States? That's not at all what the situation is. And so understand what the Joe Biden administration is doing with their plan to solve the immigration crises is just repeating the exact same problems that have led to the immigration crises. The actual solutions in this circumstance are to protect the, the Guatemalan, whether it's any of these other countries in Latin, uh, Central and South America, um, is to actually protect them, to lay our hands off of them, stop having the CIA go in and destabilize these governments, um, stop funding far-right death squads, stop uh, uh, exploiting their labor, exploiting their resources, trying to jack Venezuela's oil and jack Bolivia's lithium, um, stop fucking around in these countries and let them actually form stable governments and form democracies, whether or not they be socialist governments, which the United States always seems to take issue with, um, but actually let their governments form and act on behalf of their people instead of on you U.S. multinational corporations. And so that's what actually needs to happen. Obviously, the Joe Biden administration is not going to be doing that. They're continuing in the footsteps of all previous U.S. Uh, imperialist regimes. And uh, this is just an ongoing process that we see repeated over and over again. Again, it's just history repeating itself in the worst ways humanly imaginable.